Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will discuss about some terminologies which are very very important for the FMG examination, NEET PG examination. So what are those terminologies? The, those ter terminologies are nevus of ETO, nevus of OTA. So what is nevus of ETO? Basically you can see ETO is actually the hyperpigmentation that is occurring on the shoulder you can see on the left side picture it is eto i so when it is eto then it occurs in the shoulder okay and when it is ota o then it occurs around the eye so when it occurs the right side picture ota so when it occurs around the eye when it occurs around the eye it is known as ota so you can remember o is just like a circle and it occurs circularly around the eye so ota is o ota is o that means circle ota looks like o o that means circle so it occurs circularly around the eye you can see the right side picture ota so you can remember like this ota around the eye and obviously then ito will be uh, around the shoulder you can see the left side picture is the ito right side is the ota say so they always confuse you with this terminology so always remember which one is ito and which one is ota and another terminology they also sometimes give that is the Mongolian spot which I will further discuss in this video but always uh, make it clear in your mind which one is Ito. Ito occurs on the shoulder but O tie O looks like circle around the eye always remember. Now this one is the nevus of Ito you can see this is the nevus of Ito then where it will occur it will occur on the shoulder you can see the right uh, the picture uh, this is actually the original picture of nevus of Ito it is nothing but hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation that occurs in the dermis layer you can see now look at this picture this picture is actually showing the nevus of Ota you can see O O I told you circular so it uh, occurs around the eye you can see around the eye and sometimes it also can involve the eye you can see a and b the left side is the a picture and right side is the b picture you can see the left side picture it has occurred in the eye also so it has the hyperpigmentation has occurred inside the eye also and generally it occurs around the eye so generally it occurs around the eye just like a o so it is ota ota you can remember so uh, this nevus you can define differentiate always with ito always remember ito and ota because they are severe uh, they, they are always asked in the examination which one is nevus of ito which one is ota ito occurs on the shoulder and ota occurs around the eye now let me teach you about the nevus of ota definition basically it was first discovered the ota that occurs around the eye it was first discovered or described basically in 1861 so it is quite old and what happens basically it is a bluish hyperpigmentation bluish hyperpigmentation that occurs along the first and second branch of the trigeminal nerve so you can remember trigeminal nerve has the ophthalmic branch and the first and the second branch is involved in this the nevus of ota and you can see the significant predominance among the women and generally the women are getting this always remember and what about the nevus of Ito? Basically, Ito is a variant of Ota. So you, you remember the Ito that occurs on the shoulder, which I, I, I showed you, Ito that occurs on the shoulder. That is actually nothing but a variant of the Ota. So from the Ota, which occurs on the eye, around the eye, a variant becomes nevus of Ito. And this occurs in the uh, on the shoulder okay and this actually occurs generally in the acromioclavicular region so the region of ito is acromioclavicular region which we in the common language we call the shoulder region and another question also comes which you can see the uh, picture of the mongolian spot you can see the right side picture the lower one mongolian spot what happens basically uh, the japanese children the chinese children and mongolian children they actually get 
these kind of sports from uh, from them actually this has been started so the name mongolian spot is mentioned mongolian spot is nothing but you can see the bluish or the blackish coloration that occurs in the sacro coccygeal region and usually regresses and disappears during the childhood now what is this one this one is Baker's Nevers okay Baker's Nevers now Baker's Nevers is uh, quite similar but there is a difference that difference is very important it is hairy it is hairy so always when the hairs are involved you can see hairy uh, Nevers that occurs generally in the males so male populations are having this kind of Nevers Baker's Nevers and it occurs on the shoulder region on the trunk region on the chest region chest is very common on the left side picture the a picture you can see the chest region and the right side also is common uh, it can be found in the shoulder region so these two is uh, you, you remember hairy okay hairy neighbors that is baker's neighbors sometimes they give you a picture and they ask you what kind of neighbors is this always remember this one is also showing the hairy baker's neighbors so this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe this channel because this channel contains many many medical videos which will help you to crack your fmg examination maybe your neat pg examination or ems examination whatever you are studying for just subscribe this channel you will learn a lot from this channel thank you so much have a nice day bye bye